Welcome to Cell World. Thanks for supporting us here at the Barker Cast, the one and only Clive Barker podcast. Hi, Jose. Hi, Ryan. We don't do Patreon. Kickstarter fundraisers like this are how we fund the podcast. And you not only get to geek out with us about Clive Barker for another year, but there's also some great stuff you can get as backer rewards. We're gearing up for our 10th year, and we're excited to cover the Clive Barker news and projects. Uh, continuing our A through Z of Horror commentary series, uh, any playbooks that we haven't covered yet, and the upcoming Candyman movie. We're even considering playing a Dungeons & Dragons game set in a Clive Barker world. So let's talk about backer rewards. If you donate uh, any amount, uh, one dollar and up, you're going to get special thanks, uh, not only on our blog page, but in the podcast itself. So we will uh, will mention you, and you'll have our eternal gratitude. You can also get this amazing playbook released by the Clive Barker Archive. It uh, is called a Magician, and it's got a lot of interesting stuff in here. It's got pictures from way back when the Doc Company was making these plays come to life. And this is a story about a magician called Cagliostro who gets himself into several adventures. Oh, Max Lichter of the Pyramid Gallery donated these three musical lament configurations. And we've got a little, little snippet here from the a video by Little Spark Films. The Lament Configuration Designed by M. L. Barron and Simon Sacy Art and Research by Max Lichter Only available at Pyramid Gallery And Derek Neal of Configuration Boxes donated a Servant's Configuration and check this out, it's even signed by Paul T. Taylor Pinhead from Hellraiser Judgment. I love the servant's configuration. I love the uh, the red color on it. It's it's really awesome looking. And so, yep, here's a, a little clip from a, a video by Little Spark Films of the servant's configuration. The servant's configuration, designed by Derek Neal, inspired by the novel Sherlock Holmes and the servants from Hell. Box available only at configurationboxes.com. So if you're not familiar with the movie The Torturer, the short film, it's based on a short story by Paul Kane, who wrote two books on the Hellraiser franchise. He's a good friend of the show, and he's also a very accomplished uh, writer, and he wrote a short story called The Torturer, which was adapted by our friends at Little Spark Films into a short film, The Torturer, and it stars Paul T. Taylor, who was the, uh, the the main one of the main characters in this movie, and he played Pinhead in Hellraiser Judgment. And Paul T. Taylor will be signing these posters, so you can you can either choose to get a, a bundle with the poster signed by Paul T. Taylor and the download code. Or you can just get the download code for the movie. Uh, either one, if you don't want to pay for the shipping, like if you're in, not in the United States and it's kind of expensive, you can also just go with the download code for the movie. And that is The Torturer uh, by Little Spark Films, based on a story by Paul Kane, with, starring Paul T. Taylor. Have you seen Hellraiser 2, 3, or 4? Well, then you know Peter Atkins. He is... The writer of those movies, and he has um, generously donated some stuff for our Kickstarter, and he's autographed it. So this is really awesome. So his vampire novel from uh, around 2000, Morningstar, uh, is signed by Paul Peter Atkins. This is a hardcover. Uh, we have the the anthology of Hellraiser stories, Hellbound Hearts, also autographed. And if you haven't seen. Uh, the Rolling Darkness Review, there's a YouTube channel for it, uh, and Peter Atkins and uh, and Be and Bartlett and Hirschberg, they have made chapbooks of the stories that they do for the Rolling Darkness Review, and you can get those also signed by Peter Atkins, 
There are three of them, and this is really exciting, so thank you so much. And we have a poster for Hellraiser Bloodline, signed by Peter Atkins. So, um, really excited about these. Thanks again, Peter Atkins. is an all-around great guy. Uh, has donated to, this is the third year in a row that he's helped us with our fundraiser, and we can't thank you enough. Donated from friends of the show Ed Martinez and Nina Arlene, it's the Candyman Farewell to the Flesh board game. Super awesome, R ultra rare promotional item I have never seen in my life. I've been in the fandom for 30 years, never heard of this until recently. Thank you so much, Ed and Nina. And Nina put, Nina put together this awesome video uh, to display it, so check it out. This is a honey of a backer reward. Candyman, farewell to the flesh. A rare promotional item that was sent to the Cenobium back in the 90s. The box is 9 by 9 inches, contains a folded game board with minty fresh pieces and cards. You'd be crazy to miss out on this item before someone else gets their hooks into it. Uh, this sacrament paperback. It's, uh, it's obviously well loved. It's got some creases on the spines. Uh, but you know, actually I've been to book signings with Clive and he's actually appreciated stuff like this. It shows that people have spent a lot of time reading it. And somebody, uh, somebody did spend a lot of time reading this. I picked this one up. This is from my personal collection. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to, love to get this to somebody and you can help the Clive Barker podcast. This Thief of Always notebook. Uh, this was from the real Clive Barker store, which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so this might be the last one of these that anybody could get. Uh, it's a college rule notebook that you can write in for yourself, and it's got a cool um, Thief of Always design on the front and the back here. The Clive Barker greeting cards, also from the real Clive Barker store. They were donated to us a few years back. Um, we, you know, and, and they're kind of irreverent and funny. We've got one with a berserker on it. We've got... Uh, Frank being torn apart by the Cenobites. Uh, that's a get well card. <laughs> and uh, this one says you're ugly and you smell, but we still like you. Happy birthday. Um, <laughs> happy whatever it is you're celebrating, but I really don't care. Uh, I have my own going on. So kind of irreverent and th these are kind of hilarious. Here's a Christmas card, Santa Claus with a puzzle box. Uh, and uh, the last one, <laughs> Be My Valentine, with Candyman and Valentine scratched out and says, Be My Victim. So these are pretty fun. They're super rare now that the Clive Barker store, real Clive Barker store, is gone. So that's the only place you'll be able to find these is this Kickstarter, this one set that we have. And uh, these come wrapped in plastic. I just peeled the little um, label back so that I could open them and show them to you because in past years, Nobody bought them, presumably because they couldn't see all of them, and they're hilarious. All right. You can also get this amazing print uh, produced by the Century Guild. So this is, I think, the only place where you can get one of these prints is through our Kickstarter because these are not for sale. And I think we pretty much have the remainder of those. Um, it says, do not trust the smiling world, my child. It hides the hunger that will be your making if you look away for but a moment. And it, I think this features like the completed uh, design of this sketch is actually in the Imaginer books. There's a mask and there's a monster behind the mask. But this is the original sketch with a wonderful quote by Clive Barker. And it's a great looking print. So you can also get this one. Imagica, one and two. Uh, remember there was a time when Imagica, uh, one particular paperback publication of Imagica split them into two books. So you got book one, the Fifth Dominion and Book Two, The Reconciliation. And uh, so, if you want to have Imagica in two uh, volumes instead of one, you can get these. These are in more pristine condition. They don't have any creases on their spines, which is why I picked them up. You know, arguably Clive Barker's best novel. And so, if you haven't read them, we recommend you get these. And these are from my personal collection. And uh, help out the Barker cast. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is this. BarkerCast mug. Uh, it's got the cool banner logo art with Peliquin and and uh, Pinhead facing off, uh, and it says BarkerCast. 
And we love this artwork. It fit perfectly on a mug with its uh, banner shape. It wraps all the way around so you can have Pinhead on one side and Peliquin on the other side. Um, and we loved how this design came out uh, and we're excited for you to be able to get it. Uh, we have some t-shirts with art by Marcus Williams. Check it out, it's new for this year. We love this new t-shirt design by Marcus Williams. This is Pinhead, based on a painting of his. So we just changed the coloring on it to make it red, it, it, to make it look really cool for the t-shirt. And so that's our new t-shirt design for this year. And thanks to Marcus Williams, we're really excited about this one. I'm gonna buy one for myself. So yeah, we can't wait to, to let you guys get a hold of this one and support the Clive Barker podcast and wear an awesome pinhead shirt. Uh, Ed Martinez and Nina Arlene from Synovium. They came up with a NYX design from a Synovium cover. We had a little brainstormy session about this upcoming Kickstarter and wanted to really kind of get some new ideas for t-shirts. We also have this watch and wear offer from the Synovium. Backers can get this classic t-shirt designed like the cover of issue 14 of Zenobian Magazine, which features the Lord of Illusions set visit and original cover artwork by Nina Arlene of actor Daniel Von Bargen portraying the character Nyx. It's not only vintage, it's the first, the oldest, and still going strong. You can also get these amazing t-shirt designs for the Barker cast so you can show off your swag, your Clive Barker fan swag, your support for our podcast. And so the first design we have is uh, the original design that we created for the one of our first fundraisers. And, you know, I made that design. I'm pretty proud of it. I thought it was a pretty popular t-shirt. And so it comes in black. Then we also have the second design that I did, which we call the nautical design. And it's got this island, this little boat in the middle of this sea of quiddity, and uh, this creature that uh, is inhabiting the island with these giant three eyeballs. And actually, it comes from a design that was suggested by Rob Reidenauer, one of our team members. He said he had a dream that he saw like three you know, people on, on an island. And uh, it kind of symbolized, at the time, our little small team of me, Ryan, and Rob. And then the figure standing in the island comes from the Vesalius uh, anatomy book. So it's a great design. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, usually it looks better in a bright background. Ah, the Duels of Blood t-shirt. So if you remember, uh, we do some years we have done uh, sort of March Madness style duels of blood contest we call it and it's like a popularity contest we had one year that was all centibytes so we had 64 centibytes facing off in each other in bracketed rounds and people would vote to determine who was their favorite and we got uh and we've done that for four years one year it was uh it was um Aberat characters one year it was nightbreed one year it was centibytes and you would think, oh, there aren't 64 Nightbreed, but there are, you know, and there's 64 Cenobites if you count all the comic book characters and stuff. And we had a lot of fun. And if you've participated in that, if you have fond memories of the Duels of Blood, we have a Duels of Blood t-shirt. I'm excited about that. Everville paperback. It's got no creases on the spine. And we'll also throw in, uh, well, it's a bundle. So you'll also get the Everville book on tape. Right, these are um, audiobooks on cassette. A two, two parts, four cassettes in great shape. I've never actually played one. Everville audiobook on cassette. You'll get with the Everville, Everville paperback. Help out the Clive Barker podcast. Get this bundle. Everville is a great book. Sequel to The Graded Secret Show. Second book of the art. And get yourself prepared for when the third book of the art comes out. Generously donated by Phil and Sarah Stokes of the Clive Barker Archive and Clive Barker Revelations. Imagine four, five, and six. Heavy. Okay, imagine her six. So, oh man, thank you so much, Phil and Sarah Stokes. And we have these Imaginer books. There are a few of each of these. And if you don't have the Imaginer books uh, or you're interested in learning more about them, go and listen to our episodes uh, about the Imaginer. We went through the entire series from Imaginer 1 all the way to Imaginer 8. I don't want to get too caught up in these paintings because I love them. We had so much fun, Jose and Marcus and I, talking about the Imaginer series. And you can get Imaginer 4, 5, and 6 from us. Uh, so thank you, Phil and Sarah Stokes. Thank you, Clive Barker Archive and Clive Barker. 
Imaginer 3. This is a tray case. Kind of like, the, it's kind of the special edition, but it was an artist copy. So that means it came, this came to us from, from Seraphim. Yeah, they donated these to us uh, several years back. And we're not pricing them like deluxe editions, even though they have the tray case, they have the same cover. Uh, but we're not pricing them like the deluxe edition. These artist copies don't aren't signed and numbered uh, because they were meant for Clive Barker and they were at Clive Barker's studio house. Same deal with Imaginer 4. Also, tray case, uh, you know, edition, and it has this in it, uh, not signed or numbered because same deal. Uh, if this is a Imaginer 3 and Imaginer 4 tray case editions. They normally sell for 350, uh, but because these are not signed and numbered, um, we're putting them up for 199. So you can uh, fill out your collection. If you want to advertise with us, we have a pretty good deal on advertising. So far, we've been proud to work with sponsors like Jordy Calendar, Don Bertram Celebrate Imagination, and Dark Regions Press. Your support keeps us going. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks 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 for listening to Clive Barker Podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Cell World, what's that? Stuck in a video game. Help! Is anyone out there? Come on! Why am I in here? Help! What's a cell world? Hey! Who are those people? What's this writing? What's going on? Oh, I know him. Huh. Uh, hmm. Well, you know, maybe if you buy something, I can get out? I don't know. I don't want to be in a video game. I have to go to work on Monday. Come on. Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? I don't like this. I want to go home. Back to Kickstarter. Get me out of here. Yeah? Tell him I'm in the Amiga. Nobody uses that. Go look at it. It's a, I'm in the Amiga. I'm stuck in Cell World. Can I play a better game? I really like Agony. That's a good one. Or Blood Money. Blood Money is really good. Can I be in that game? Ooh, Shadow of the Beast. I want to play Shadow of the Beast, okay? Can somebody uh, change the game to Shadow of the Beast? There's, like, nothing going on in Cell World. Look, th there's nothing here. Th look at this background. There's nothing. Anybody? Hello? Hello? Hey. And this video game, having no beginning, will have no end.